ito yung final output natin. Input tayo ng positive integer, example 5. Lalabas yung multiplication table of 5. Then, 5 times 1 is equal to 5 until 5 times 10. Then, isasam niya lahat yung product natin para makuha niya yung 275. So, try natin pag-run again. Input tayo ng 4. So, multiplication table of 4, then 4 times 1 is equal to 4, until 4 times 10 is equal to 40. Then, na-add yan lahat para makuha natin yung the sum of all product is to 20. Hi guys! This is Dalimar Kimtinio and welcome to our video tutorial. Sa video na to, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano sob ang ating mga Java looping exercises. So now, we have our problem. Write a Java program that prompts the user to input a positive integer. It should then print the multiplication table of that number from 1 to 10 and calculate the sum of all product. So we have here our sample output. Input tayo ng positive integer, 5. Then multiplication table of 5. So 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Until 5 times 10 which is equal to 50. So, ilulop niya yung ating input na positive integer. Then, i-multiply niya sa 1 until 10. Then, i-display niya at the end yung the sum of all product is 275. So, lahat ng product natin dito is i-add niya until makuha natin yung total ng lahat ng ating loop product. So, simulan natin. So, open natin sa Eclipse IDE. Okay, so I have already created my project. So, kung wala pa kayong created na my project, you can create your own project. Then, I have here my package which is my project. So, right click ko. Then, let's create our new class. Then, example, let's name it Multiplication. Or multiplication table So, depende sa inyo kung anong gusto nyo So, in my case I'll just name this Multiply Table Then, check natin si public static void min Finish Okay So We're going to use scanner class To accept user input No? So, let's create our scanner object. Input equals to new scanner system that in semicolon. Then, let's import our scanner class. So, hover natin si scanner. Then, let's just wait na lumabas to si import scanner. Then, automatic mag-generate sa taas yung import java util that scanner natin. Then, let's declare our variables. So, int, then, let's have range, then x, then we have product para sa product natin, then comma, sum, which is equal to 0, semicolon, then let's print our dialog, sysO, control space, then input, input, positive, integer. So, gusto ko sa tabi lang. Delete natin yung ln. Then, tawagin natin si range equal to input dot next int semicolon. Then, balikan natin. Okay. So, dito, ang gagamitin daw natin is use for loop. So, using for loop statement. Okay. So, let's try it to type 4, then starting curly brace natin. Okay. So, first natin is yung ating initial value or initialization natin. So, we have x is equal to mag-start siya ng 1 para sa example. Tawagin natin si range. So, range times 1. So, but before that, let's put here sys o. Multiplication table of concatenate natin, tawagin natin C range. Okay, so 
Cos 2 1 dito, semicolon, then condition. So, x is less than or equal to, instead na range, dapat 10. So, from 1 to 10. So, 10. So, dapat 1 until 10, then semicolon, then in increment tayo. So, x plus plus para x 2 from x 1, 2, 3 until 10. Then, let's display example. This is O. So, tawagin natin si range. Then, concatenate natin si x para 5 times then plus Tawagin natin si x. Then, plus natin, kung katinit natin, then equals. Okay, so save natin. Let's try to run. Okay, input tayo ng 5. Okay, so input positive integer 5. So multiplication table of 5. 5 times 1 x equal. So wala pa tayong product times 2, times 3, times 4, times 5, until 10. So, balikan natin yung ating problem. So, multiplication table of 5. So, dapat may product tayo dito. Then, the end is ang, the sum of all product is. Balikan natin. Alright. So, gagamitin na natin yung ating product na variable para lumabas yung ating product. So, Let's type product so is equal to ang ating i-multiply is yung range natin or instead na range to lagay na lang natin na number para hindi ko maguluhan so number so int number or int num int num to then ito instead na range num Okay, so input daw tayo ng positive integer Lagay natin sa ating variable na number Then input that next int Then ito, instead na range Palitan mo natin na num So, any variable will do So, as long as gusto mo siya Or as long as mag Ano, parang nag-describe siya sa ating Ano, i-input na data Okay, so num yun Num na to Okay, so product, i-multiply natin si num at saka yung ating example, 5 times 1, 5 times 2. Okay? So, product is equal to num asterisk or times natin 2x semicolon. Then, dito, kung katinate natin, plus, tawagin natin si product. Save natin. Okay? Run. Okay, so let's type 5. Okay, so 5 times 1, 5, then 5 times 2, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So which is tama na siya, ang kaso lang wala pa tayong the sum of all products. So to do that, let, let's go sa labas ng 4 kasi kung pinasok natin, papas, ipapasok natin yung ating the sum of all product is Every time na maglulup, maglulup din yung ating the sum of product. So, dito, dapat siya sa labas. So, sis O. Then, the sum of all product is, kung katinate natin, tawagin natin si, pra, si product. Kaso, kapag tinawag natin siya, is product lang yung lalabas. So, hindi dapat ito. So, ang gagamitin naman natin is si sum. So, instead na product, delete natin to Let's type sum plus equal to product semicolon or sum is equal to sum plus product. So, ibig sabihin, every time na maglulup siya or may value si product, is i-add niya yung product kay sum. Then, every time na maglulup, magpapalitan o madadagdagan yung value ni sum. So, adds prad value to sum. Then dito instead na product yung tatawagin natin, dapat si sum. So the sum of all product is sum 
Let's try to save. Then, click natin si run. Magpa tayo ng 5. So, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Then, the sum of all product is 275. Let's check. Okay. So, 275. Tama naman yung ating output. Let's try to run again. Let's put 4. So, 4 times 1, 4 times 2, 8, okay, so until R, the sum of all product is to 20. So, ganito lang kadali guys. So, input lang tayo ng positive integer, pasok natin sa ating num. Then, mag-loop tayo from 1 until 10, then mag-multiply natin yung ating num sa ating loop na x. No? Every time na mag-loop siya, mag-increase din yung ating x. Then, gagawa tayo ng ating sum na variable para siya yung hawak na ating total ng product. No? So, ito yung sa for loop natin. How about we try yung ating while loop? So, sa while loop, we have also the same problem but we're going to use while instead of for. Okay. Gawa tayo ng while dito sa baba. While. Then, starting curl brace. Okay. Ang gagawin lang natin dito is kukopyahin natin yung mga code para makita natin kung ano bang pagkakaiba or may nandagdag bang mga code kapag iba yung ating gamit. In example, kung hindi for or while, kung ano bang gamit mo. So, para mapakita natin na napaka dali lang talaga kung kahit anong looping statement ang gamit mo, always the same or medyo parehas lang yung code no so okay so initial value natin cut natin to so we have here our initial value initialization natin then our condition ito yung ating sa condition dito so ang condition natin is ito cut natin paste natin so, initialization, condition, then, dito sa baba is yung ating increment. So, depende kung sa decrement ba or increment. Semicolon. Okay. So, ito naman is ikat natin to then, lagay natin dito sa taas. Paste natin, then, delete na natin to Okay. Cut natin, lagay natin dito sa Ba. Okay. Okay, wala na to. For loop. Okay, arrange na lang natin para maganda tingnan. Okay, so explain natin. So, first, mag-ask tayo sa user na input positive integer. <coughs> then, pasok natin sa num. So, we initialized our x para mag-start siya yung ating times 1 sa 1. Then, condition natin from 1 until 10. So, dapat si x is less than or equal to 10. Condition natin. Then, pasok natin yung ating code na product times num times x. Then, print ln natin. Then, yung total ng product. Then, yung ating increment na every time na mag-loop, mag-add siya ng 1. Then, at the end, pagkatapos ng looping, i-display na yung total ng lahat ng ating product. So, save natin. Let's run. Okay, type natin yung 4. Okay, so, tama. Then, patay ng 5. Okay, 5, 10, Alright, so tapos na natin yung ating while loop. Now, we go to do while. So, also the same problem, but we're going to use the while loop. So, again, sa while loop is ilo-loop niya lang yung statement mo or yung code blocks mo, yung block of code mo as long as true yung condition natin. So, kapag yung initialization natin dito is nag-exceed dito sa 10, <coughs> is hindi niya i-execute yung looping natin. 
So, si Duwile naman is kahit mali yung sa first yung condition mo, is i-exit nyo pa rin. So, kasi uunahin nyo yung do. And, so, nasa huli na yung while. So, kumbaga, nasa huli na yung pagsisisi. I-execute na muna bago niya i-test o evaluate kung tama ba yung ginawa niya or tama ba yung condition. So, also, ang code is parehas lang. So, ang kaso lamang, instead na while, we will use do while. So, cut natin yung ating initial value, initialization natin, control X. Lagay natin dito sa taas. Okay. Then, we have our condition. Cut natin. So, lagay natin dito sa baba. So, sa baba yung condition sa do while. Then, semicolon instead na curly brace. So, ito yung ating condition. Then, cut natin itong ating code. So, dito. So, dito yung ating increment. Okay, ito. Cut na natin to dito sa baba. Delete na natin to Okay, so explain natin to Oh, we have her ang ating first initialization. Then do. Pasok natin yung ating code, then huwag kalimutan yung ating increment. So, from 1 until 10, every time na mag-loop, dadagdagin ng 1. Then yung ating while condition, yung while natin, x is less than or equal to 10. Ito yung ating condition. Then after <coughs> ma-execute lahat, yung loop is, i-display yung the sum of all product is sum. So, let's try to save, then run. So, input natin 5. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, so 75, which is correct. And again, let's put 4. 4 times 1 is 4 until 4 times 10 equals 40. The sum of all product is 220. So, again guys, ganito lang kadali kung paano gawin yung ating problem. So, from 4 loop, nag gumawa tayo ng while and also, gumawa din tayo ng do while. So, nakita nyo kung paano lang kadali. Binago lang natin yung syntax. So, from 4, pinalitan natin ng while and do. So, see you sa next video natin. Thanks!